Hey there, and welcome to Sneak Chat. This is Richard, and today I'm going to be talking about uh, dialing in your photo eye or your product sensor and getting it set up to see your products. So the first thing that you want to do is if you look on the back of your photo eye, you'll see that there is a small screw and a small light bulb right next to each other. And so the first thing you want to do is, as you see in mine here, the light is stuck on, which means that it's constantly triggering. It is seeing the wall on the other side of my conveyor. So the first thing I want to do is turn this screw counterclockwise until the light turns off. Once I do that and the light turns off, I'm going to set my box in front of my photo eye. Then you'll see I'll just test a couple times to make sure that every time I place my box in front of my photo eye, the light blinks. That means that it's triggering a print and that's how I know it's working. And whenever the box or the product you're printing on is not in front of it, that light should turn off. Great, now that we've done that part, let's go ahead and run some prints so we can get an idea of how this works. So first I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna start my printer off with an interval of zero, which means no delay in the print from the time the photo I sees the product to the time it begins printing. So let me go ahead and set that real quick. Okay. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and use this box as our uh, print sample. Let's go ahead and press the print button and let's run our box through. Great, let me slide this back so that you can see and oops, I accidentally triggered another print there. So you'll see that at a zero interval or delay, my print is on this far right side of the box. Now let's go ahead and I'm going to jump this up to 15 because when you're doing this in order to see the change, sometimes it's better to make large incremental changes instead of small. So let's go ahead and we need to make sure to turn the print mode off between setting changes or adjustments. And let's go ahead and set this to an interval or delay value of 15. Great, now we're gonna go ahead and run that print at 15 on the same box. And this is a great way for you guys to see the difference here. So you see on 15, that print printed all the way to the left. So what I'm gonna do in order to dial this in, I see I got lucky this time. I'm gonna go ahead and just cut the difference there. And let's go ahead and set our interval to 10. Now we're set, let's run it. Okay, and we've got a little bit of overlap there, but you see for the most part, we're directly in the center there. Now, I'm a little picky, so I'm gonna drop this down one more to number nine. And let's run a new box. Right, and you'll see that I'm pretty much there. We're just gonna leave that as it is. But this is basically the rundown of how your interval works. It's gonna take you a couple of tries as you saw me do. So like I said before, I recommend starting with those large increment changes so that you can see the movement clearly and then go back from there. Thank you for watching.